I grew up in this house with not a lot of distractions. <clears throat> you know, a lot of my peers were playing uh, video games and watching TV, and um, we didn't have electricity, so I couldn't do any of those things. <laughs> and so I was playing guitar, and I remember one time I, I went to a, a buddy's house, and he and he showed me this guy on YouTube, uh, Eric Mongrain, and he uh, he played his guitar like a piano, and I was like. I remember being really blown away by that, so, so when I got back home, I, uh, I started trying to teach myself how to play that, like that, like how he was doing. And I remember being so nervous to play in front of people that I actually, I moved out of, uh, of my mom's house into the backyard, into this little Winnebago, my grandfather's Winnebago, <clears throat> and I had this cat, and I was trying to learn how to, how to do this stuff, and I don't know, uh, <laughs> I don't know uh, how this cat um, like your nearest neighbors were like 10 kilometers away or something like that. But this cat went out, came back, and I'm not sure what the cycle is, but you know, a few months later, uh, it was me, this cat, and eight kittens. And I was <laughs> playing songs in this Winnebago in the backyard. It was my first audience. And uh, <laughs> that was a tangent that has nothing to do with this song, I guess. Um, <laughs> But as the original bubbles. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah, so that's where this technique comes from, is that YouTube video and it. Just me messing around in that Winnebago for hours a day. Um, it's a song I wrote called The Dawn, and it's uh, a song about uh, you know, to remember, appreciate the little things. Like the 
dawning, like the dawning, like the dawning of the world. Oh, like the dawning, like the dawning, like the dawning, like the dawning of the world.